Today about architecture and the subject of your compositions is my ideal house, my dream house. The vocabulary connected with your composition is on the table. You can see a house designed by Dana. She is going to study architecture and she has uh, done other designs also. She wants to show us. You can see her sketches. So, professional pictures. Now, let's see your composition. So, who wants to start? My dream house. Uh, every of us dream of an ideal house waiting for him or her somewhere in the future. My dream house will be situated in Ernburg, Austria, because I like hills and mountains surrounding my place. Living for such a long time in a city, I suppose that in the future a peaceful uh, forested place uh, with the fresh air will be great to build a house. Uh, my future home will be very cozy and warm place with a happy family living in it. The whole acreage will be quite big because of the garden surrounding uh, the house. I would like to have a vegetable garden, but um, uh, the garden, but um, uh, only with uh, the plants, uh, trees, bushes, uh, green grass. Perhaps I would uh, stone path straight to the entrance of the house. Uh, the color of the walls of the whole house will be equal to be suitable uh, to the brown uh, hipper valley roof. All the windows in the house will be very big and in a French style here. However, there will be the fireplace uh, in the living room and I suppose to have the chimney on the left side of the roof. The front and door will be big, visible and brown with a small threshold. The door on the terrace uh, should be made of uh, glass and uh, big. There will be light everywhere in the house, especially in the kitchen, so the terrace will be close to this place. The habitual surface will be about uh, 150 meters with one huge living room, a beautiful kitchen. Uh, there will also be the sauna next to the bathroom. On the ground floor there will be an office room with a computer and uh, practical uh, equipment. I would also have a terrace and stairs leading to the garden and a porch to sit during the warm evenings and sunny mornings. On the ground floor there will also be a big bedroom with a big comfortable bed. Next to the bed there will be uh, a wardrobe uh, and a mirror. The, be the bedroom will be sunny and painted in yellow or light uh, orange. Uh, my ideal house is not supposed to be very big but comfortable. I am not going to decorate it in a very modern style with, a very, with every aluminium element in the room. I prefer a wooden door and uh, other supplements. Uh, but whatever my house uh, it would be like, I want to be happy there with my loving family. Okay, a very detailed description. Thank you. Thank you. My dream bedroom. My dream bedroom should be in a house at first floor with sea view. It must have big windows so I can enjoy the view, but also my room it would be very, very bright. The walls would be a pale yellow so it would fit well with the brown windows and the furniture. There should be a huge lime yellow curtains at each window. The room would be separated into by a beam on the ceiling. In one part I would have an enormous bed with a view towards the beach. Next to left and right side of the bed, it would be um, two dark wooden nightstands and also a wardrobe. In front of my bed, it would be an orange sofa with little green pillows and a coffee table in front of it. It would have also a TV uh, where I could watch before I get to bed. On the second part of my room, it would be a big wooden armoire, some color as the bed and the nightstands with mirrors on it. There should also be a big potato plant. This is how my dream bedroom would uh, look like, but 
What is the most important is to be cozy and comfortable. I am not a person obsessed with details, so I don't mind if there's a little mess sometimes. But the most important thing for me is to be uh, my style on it and to reflect my personality so I can feel uh, good myself in my room. Okay, <laughs> we agree with you. A very cozy bedroom. Thank you. So, you wanna? Uh, what does uh, your house look like? Mm -hmm. uh, my perfect bedroom. My room is where I can be alone and have personal time. I want my room to be comfortable, so I would choose a colorful theme. For my walls, I would try to use a flowery print or light color stripes, so that it protects my entire wall. Stylish and classic curtains that match the rest of the room. I totally need storage in my room. White is a good color for a set of drawers, a table, and a bookshelf. But it has to be elegant. Another option would be dark wood for furniture. As for the bed cover, colors and patterns do really matter, so I would keep the best and match it with the paint or wallpaper. To make the room seem more airy and open, I'll try to use lighter colors such as navy blue, sea foam, lime green, and soft yellow. When my friends come over, I don't want to have them sit on the floor. I consider buying windex because they are comfy and they look good in bedrooms. Because I am a teen and the room of pool load is starting to increase, rather than sliding in the kitchen, I want to slide the space in my bedroom. When near the window, I put a desk and a chair for me to sit and do my homework. I don't want a plain room, so I could dress it up a little with a nice big lamp to go on my desk. A few cushions, maybe a matching lamp. I want good lighting in my room, so beside the desk lamp, I would have some other cool lights too. The lanterns, fairy lights, lamps in different shapes, sizes and colors to really make a statement in my room. The dressing up would consist also of a teddy bear on the bed, a picture of my dog in a silver frame, some copies of Tim on a shelf. By now, my room looks great. It looks great, but it probably looks more like a bedroom in a furniture show, but then my very own room. The simple answer is to personalize it. Personalize it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have a bulletin board to keep concerts, tickets, awards, special papers, pictures, and certificates on, uh, some picture frames, and have pictures of me, my friends, family, etc. on my desk and walls. I put it in my bedroom stuff that defines me and my personality. In conclusion, I'm not sure what my perfect bedroom would look like, but I have many ideas that I can combine and succeed in building my imaginary perfect bedroom where I can retreat and relax, relax whenever I want. So we hope that your ideas will come true one day. Thank you. Anna? I love dreaming about my perfect home and every time when I cannot sleep or I have nothing to do, I beat my house. In my opinion, home always awakens the best feelings and high emotions in people's souls. But what an ideal home is, everybody decides for, for himself. For me, it is important that the house to be like an anchorage, to feel relaxed and secure. I do not like big houses, but I want to be spa a spacious one with big windows. Also, when we choose a house, we should know everything about decorating, like the importance of the colors. I like the white color for the walls because it gives the room that bigger soul. And the bedrooms, and for the bedrooms, I choose colors as cream or pet. I love the Victorian style, and the bedroom should be with wood furniture, paintings on the walls, with lace curtains and shades, and also with many places for books. My bedroom should own a French window with a small open balcony. In my living room, I want to have a fireplace near which I can spend long winter evenings sitting in a locker and listening to soft music or sipping coffee. I would like that around my, of my house, beautiful trees and flowers. But I'm sure that for all people, home is not just a place to live in. Home is your little world where you live according to your own rules and interests. It's a place where you feel comfort, work, and reliability. That is why we say, my home is my castle. Mm -hmm. Like the English proverb, okay? Very nice. Once. My ideal house. I look at other people. They love buying houses, already made, big, large, expensive houses. They look like they want to hide from the world in those bunkers. This is how a house becomes a fortress, and instead of representing us, it becomes a refugee. The walls become grey, the bed too hard, and the exact thing that makes our house enjoyable turns into the main weapon which transforms our house into a cell. As a spec, as a house is important. You can't live in a basement without having a basement mentality. So it's important for the attitude. The ideal house should have a beautiful site, maybe with hills or a forest, so you can be close to nature. I love tower rooms with big windows. It will give the house a fresh air and a bright positive light who merges with the warm colors of the walls. I feel I like Greek mythologies, uh, so on the lobby, which will be the tallest room of the house, there will be columns and eventually a marble statue. I've, been, I've seen people who prefer fountains instead of statues, but I don't believe the fountain should stay in a house. We make the space a bit too open. I believe the perfect place for one is in a garden, 
which of course cannot miss from the Tukadia house. Paintings are also important uh, because they make a positive atmosphere in any room. Uh, every detail of the house should express joy and pleasure. The ideal house is a place where you relax and get released from the stress of work, school or others like that, which traps your life in uh, monotony. Still, I never think of a house without imagining my family in there, so there should be, this should be the first point to be touched in my ideal house, because my ideal house is first of all a home. Yeah, thank you. You my dream is to live in a big detached house surrounded by a big garden full of flowers and trees. I wouldn't like to live in an apartment with a block of flats and rude neighbors making noise in the middle of the night. It should be located outside the city where I can find true peace and happiness. Therefore, my dream house should have the characteristics that represent my spiritual world and personality. From my point of view, the location of my dream house is very important and the surroundings and the position of the house should be carefully considered. I've always been fascinated by rivers and the sound of the, and the sound of the birds in the mornings. I imagine my dream house near a flowing river, river, river in the countryside, but near the city center for shopping at the big malls with my car if I needed to. My interior design should be carefully planned because uh, I uh, believe that beauty lives within the details. I'd like to have a big and special hall, the first place that you see as you come into the front of the door. At the end of the hall, there would be a staircase leading upstairs. The first room on the right uh, would be the living room, which is quite large and full of light. Daylight is essential for me, so I'd like to have big windows in the living room. Upstairs, there would be four bedrooms and uh, two bathrooms. Also, my bedroom would reflect my inner world and privacy, so it would be painted with my favorite color, which is green. The outer design of my dream house should be attractively de decorated as much as the interior because I prefer to spend time outdoors. I desire to have magnificent gardens surrounding my house. The front of the garden should be full of flowers, bushes and fruit trees. The back garden should be very large so uh, that I can have a lawn with my swimming pool and also a path, a path lighting uh, where I'd like to grow my own tomatoes, green peppers and eggplants, etc. In my opinion, each person has a dream house that continues to remain in his uh, mind as long as he lives. In conclusion, everything about my dream house will reflect my feelings, thoughts and my personality. So, when you step into my house, you would, uh, in a way, get into my inner world. So we want an ecological garden. Yes. So your notes, I know you have a PowerPoint presentation. Yes. In my view, the ideal house is located in the countryside, surrounded by nature. I think this desire of mine comes from the fact that uh, I was born here and I uh, come in contact with uh, the things what uh, nature can offer. I do not want a huge house with many rooms. I want a simple one which gives me all the comfort I need. Next, I will uh, begin to introduce each element that composes the ideal home for me, being helped by some pictures to illustrate better what I desire. In these first pictures, it uh, is seen that uh, the, big, uh, the back of the house. You can uh, also see the terrace and the lawn, which is uh, always green. Here we see another angle terrace, another angle terrace where, on nice days, I have dinner with my family. Entering the house, we see firstly the kitchen, the place where I like to spend most of the time cooking and, of course, eating. Here is presented bedroom, very simple but very cozy. Climbing uh, the ladder in the pictures, one that connects uh, the two floors, we see the large bedroom that uh, of a house, which is also simple but very comfortable. In uh, it, we uh, find a fireplace to give the impression of classy. One uh, on the same floor, we find the children's room, not very big but stylishly decorated. Around the house. I want a garden surrounded by uh, fruit trees crossed by a small river. Okay. In uh, these two words and pictures, I hope I have highlighted what means for me an ideal home. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> okay, so my dream house. One day I want to have an enormous house, a beautiful one with a big front view. I would like a house with uh, three big bedrooms, a living room, a big kitchen, three bedrooms, a study room, a fitness room, a special room for clothes, a beautiful garden, and of course a wonderful indoor and a wonderful outdoor swimming pool. Um, I prefer the interior of the house in white, brown and black with several shades of red or orange. I do not like having a crowded house with a lot of stuff around. I like a, I like a spacious and a simple one. I prefer having in my house a lot of lights, so I will have uh, glass walls all over the house. The bedrooms uh, will be big and spacious, with white and grey walls, orange, brown or red hues. 
uh, instead, of, instead uh, of a wall, I will have uh, a big window. I will also have a big uh, mirror in each room and uh, black or brown furniture. But uh, the bedrooms will be a special place to relax myself uh, and the fitness room will be a nice place where uh, I can do my training and uh, feel comfortable. My favorite room will be a special one for clothes uh, filled uh, with light devices and of course with a lot of clothes. Outside, the color of the house will be brown, the roof will be flat and the side will be a modern one. Um, the house will be surrounded by, by a fountain, uh, being a lot of exotic uh, trees, with a lot of exotic trees. In conclusion, my house will be a special place for me, uh, where I can uh, really feel like home, a place designed in uh, the way I like it, and a place where my personality will be reflected. It's quite sophisticated, I would say. Thank you. Andrea, my dream house is marked by the Russian style, a large cottage surrounded by tree and green yard. First of my house has to be enclosed by a little wooden fence, brown color, being in the total harmony with the flowers that are climbing on the walls. I prefer the house with one floor, composed by three rooms upstairs and three rooms downstairs, and with one big door at the entrance. Both the windows and the doors will be white colored, and the roof will be shaped in a classic scarlet color. The three bathroom will be lighted by a white shade, not coated with a lot of furniture, just simple bed, workshops and bookcase. The furniture will be constructed by wood and in each bathroom a large mirror will send you in the 18th century. I'm a childish person and I prefer the little doors that will offer an air of innocence and security. The carpet has to be in a hue of yellow with little colored flowers. The bathroom has to be made with white porcelain and necessary a bathtub, a big mirror and a wooden catboard. The kitchen will be very simple decorated, not with fancy device, just a big fridge and two tables with wooden chair. The living room will be made with walnut tree, wood furniture, a big bookcase, a sofa and a scarlet carpet. In conclusion, my favorite house is a simple one, spacious and piled with the childhood air. <coughs> My favorite house is situated next to a lake surrounded by a green landscape, hedges, high trees and natural grass. First of all, my house can be defined as a large one constructed in bricks formed by six main rooms and in the attic a secret room filled with books, a big sofa, a desk and a big window with outside view. I'm a natural lover so my ideal house will be refreshed by a bunch of red flowers in every balcony. Secondly, those two bedrooms will be very spacious, cheerful with big beds sculpted in wood large wardrobes, bookcases, armchairs and big curtains. The walls and the decorative objects will be blue color because this is my favorite color that sends me into an equilibrium mood. The tiny bedroom will fit perfectly in the project house, not crowded, just with a bathtub, a chandelier, a basin and a locker with medicine and other self-care products. I'm a neat person, so my kitchen will be very clean, the wooden cupboards will be situated on the walls and everything will have an order. In those two living rooms, I will spend the most of my time, so one will be for reading with a big bookcase, alphabetical order, and the second one just for relaxing, blue shadow, a grey sofa, blue cushions with white flowers, and a wooden coffee table. In conclusion, my house will be inundated by the blue color and the silence, the cleanliness will reign in my little kingdom. We haven't discussed about expenses, costs. Would it be expensive to build such houses? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, to, uh, here we go. A house, we have three stories. We paint a nice color, like pink or orange, but not grass pink, and not a shade of pink that matches with the grass. And I want the house to have a big front porch and a big garden with flowers. A veranda, I guess they are cold. A covered place is you can drink tea, coffee, or wine, and watch people walk by. There will be four or five be or five bedrooms. I want a spare room for guests and an office to keep my stuff. Uh, the room that keep, uh, keeps my stuffs will be a lot shade with corners and crevices. The window will face the street and uh, the street will be lined with big old, old trees and uh, there will always be uh, people walking by. Uh, two uh, bedrooms is uh, yeah, are enough. The summer breeze will blow the pretty curtains and fresh the room. For two cheaper chatter but no crops. I will then crowd. The kitchen must be dry. I would uh, love for it to be at the back of the house. And uh, the living room must be big and warm. I believe that uh, this uh, kind of house can be a part. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What have you thought of? My perfect house. In my vision, the perfect house is large, very tall, with uh, many rooms. It should have two floors, 
the ground floor and the first floor and then the dish. Uh, the color of the exterior walls is white with uh, black lines and pieces of uh, decorative stuff. I like the modern style with the uh, wall trend, uh, therefore I prefer uh, the technology. In my future house, in the wall, there is a piece of uh, furniture and clothes for shoes and the uh, lavatory. Uh, the dining room is my favorite because uh, it's the place where I spend my day and I watch it quickly in the evening. Uh, it is decorated with a sofa, armchairs, dining table, a carpet, a bookcase, all uh, in shades of blank uh, and white. Uh, in the kitchen, I prefer modern furniture and a large square room where we have breakfast every morning. On the first floor, there will uh, be the children's room, painting in blue and green colors. Uh, in the bathroom. Uh, on uh, the attic will uh, be my bedroom with a big uh, wardrobe for my clothes, a large bed um, and tall window with uh, red plates. Uh, on the garden I will arrange here a turret for terrace with uh, table and chairs. Behind there will be a pool uh, with uh, deck chairs and uh, a playground for children. Near the house uh, is the garage uh, where I can park my car. In conclusion, the perfect house is uh, the place where I feel very good and very happy with my family. Okay. So they are not very simple in fact because they have uh, at least one or two stories, an active house. Yes. Okay. Who's next, Maria? The place where I feel most comfortable and like very quiet, there I have best inspiration, this is the garden. My dream garden, I would like to be a big one placed in my backyard with lane crossing on the middle and on the lane to be placed lanterns. I wish I had multicolored rugs, colorful, draw flowers such as bellies, pansies, petunia and also roses. Bellies are ideal for decorating flower garden. They fit perfectly in combination with grass, which will be planted if replaces a trunk tree in the garden or simply spread along borders. Entering into garden, I prefer to be a canopy of vineyard, besides it being located a bank where I sit when I want to breathe fresh air, especially in spring and autumn, and I relieve moments from my childhood or read. Even in the middle of the garden, I would love to be a garden furniture surrounded by free trees, especially trees situated near a lake with ducks and water lilies, which to sit from a in late summer evenings. From there, I sit quiet and listen to their sound, and occasionally looking at the players on the golf course in front of me. In a corner of the garden, I desire to have benches with tables and there to relax when the time is beautiful, studying or meeting with my friends, playing various games. In some places, I want to be planted free trees such as cherry, apples, pears, quinces, plums, and walnut, and among them strawberries and raspberry bushes, but also hedges. I love to walk in spring among trees and inviting fragrant smell of flowers in summer to pink fruit, in autumn to admire colored leaves falling, and winter snowball flight with friends. This is my dream garden. Okay, a splendid garden indeed. Who is next, Devana? Perfect house. The perfect house for making mini pairs. I love Christmas and that's why it will always has the happiness inside it. It would have great decoration like clothes from fairy tales. First of all, it would have a big door for getting in to feel a special sensation like it would be your house. It would have six rooms. It would be the hall, a big one, the bathroom, the kitchen, a living room and two bedrooms. It would also have a garden. I wouldn't build a big house where we could get bored or tired since we were arriving in Rome. My garden should be like a little part of a forest where you could feel the fresh air. It would have trees, flowers and a lot of grass. It would be like a place special for kids where we could discover the nature. The bedroom must have a big and comfortable bed and a big wardrobe with a little closet for shoes. The rest would uh, consist in a desk with a PC or TV. The walls would be painted in a pale orange with two windows. The living room would uh, be painted in a pale color, like the ice cream car. It should contain two sofas, a coffee table, paintings on walls, some abstract, uh, abstract paintings, uh, some chairs, iron chairs. The kitchen should be a place where uh, you spend the most of your time. 
This is uh, what my perfect uh, house looks like. Christmas is approaching. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for. My dream is to live in a big, spacious house surrounded by a garden full of flowers and trees. I've always wanted to be surrounded by nature, to be in the middle of wildness, having the possibility to enjoy the fresh air. My dream house should be located outside the city, on the outskirts of town, where I can find true peace and happiness. I would like a house with three big bedrooms, a living room, a large kitchen, three bedrooms, a study room, and of course a beautiful indoor swimming pool. I've always been fascinated by rivers and the sound of birds in the morning. I imagine my dream house near a flowing river built to the countryside. My dream house is interior design should be carefully planned. I like a big uh, spacious hall since it is the first place that you see as you come in through the front door. At the end of the hall there would be a staircase leading upstairs. The first room on the right would be the living room which is quite large and full of light. They like is very important to me and uh, I would like to have big windows in the living room. My favorite place would be the study where I could read books, write and work. This small room would make me feel calm and attentive so I could focus my attention on my projects. Upstairs, uh, there would be my bedroom which would be painted with my favorite color blue. In the backyard, I desire to have wonderful gardens full of flowers and fruit trees. The garden should be very large so that I can have a lawn with a swimming, swimming pool. Uh, I think that each person has a dream house. For me, this is my ideal house, a place which reflects my personality and my inner world, a place where I will always feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are dreaming of a study room in our flats, but I don't think it's possible. Andrea? Well, I talk about the perfect living room. I think that the living room is the perfect place where we can spend time with family and friends. And that is the reason that the room should be bright and full of fresh air and warm. Personally, I would choose a 360 degrees glass room for the best view. The landscape is very important for having a much more relaxing time. I would like a large garden for outside parties and barbecues. The walls made of glass are a huge advantage because with my friends we can watch the sunset, the sunrise or the stars from a bright night. Space and the interior design are very important. The details from the room can make a uh, guest feel like home and that would be a huge plus. For the interior design I would probably go for a minimalist style but warm and friendly. The electronic e equipment would be hidden because I want to keep the sensation of a traditional house of, but of course we would uh, be spending time playing games while we're watching movies at, at the home cinema. In conclusion, the perfect living room is the room with family and friends all having, having a good time. But which ones would you about my personality? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much for your compositions. And uh, let's try to see uh, which house do you like most? Okay. Go on. Mm -hmm. I like that. You are so do they have something in common, do you think? Yeah. All the houses are uh, big. Big. Yes. Bright. 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 Bright garden. They have a garden. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, all, of, all of the houses have a swimming pool. A swimming pool? I don't have a swimming pool. <laughs> yes, but most of them have a swimming pool. Expensive, they are expensive. All of them are expensive yes. and are surrounded by nature. And yes, nature is the common element. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll continue next class with other um, with another discussion about architecture. Okay, thank you so much.